In this video, we're going to order these square roots, or I should say all of these irrational numbers, from least to greatest. How do we do that? Well, we approximate each of them and hope that that gives us enough to figure out where these numbers should go. So the smallest here is the square root of 2, because I know it's between 1 and 2, right? 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 2. So some decimal between 1 and 2. That's our smallest number. Okay, the square root of 5 is between what and what? Well, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9, so the square root of 5 is some decimal between 2 and 3. That's our next number. Pi comes next because it's equal to a little bit over 3. And then 11, well, 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16, so it's between 3 and 4. So now, oops, this is tricky. What comes first, pi or the square root of 11? Well, let's square 3.14. That's a pretty good approximation of pi. Well, I guess a good approximation to the hundredth place. But if this is smaller, right, then the square, if this is bigger than the square root of 11, then you have to try again, but if it's smaller than the square root of 11, uh, or smaller than 11, I should say, then we know it's definitely bigger than pi. But in fact, what I'm gonna do is, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try this. Let me try something simpler. If I take 3.2 and square that, well, if this is smaller than 11, then we know that the square root of 11 is bigger than pi, right, because this decimal right here is already above pi. So what do we do? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, carry a 0, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. Add these up, 4 and 12, we get 10.24, and put the decimal point here, because it's really 100 times smaller. And yes, okay, 3.2 is still smaller, 3.2 squared is still smaller than 11. So the root of 11 is above 3.2. Therefore, this is bigger than pi. That's a pretty, I think, straightforward way of ordering these numbers from least to greatest. All right, thanks.